Right, we're back. Another weekend, summer. Yeah. Summer weekend. What is it now? End of May, so we've been closed three weeks. And uh, during the week I've been back on the yacht actually, because my yacht's been in Barcelona. So I um, managed to get back there and do some work during the week, and um, which has been good. Keeps the money, money coming in. And uh, yeah, just been coming up here at the weekends, trying to keep stuff moving forward. As you can see, it's starting to brown off. Everything's starting to get browner and browner. We don't like it, do we, when it does this? No, but there's a lot more. There's a lot more stuff filled in yeah. now, so there's a lot more growth. Like the trees are all starting to look healthier. Like this fig tree is like filled right out. Um, it doesn't look as barren as it has done the previous years, does it? No, stuff's definitely coming more to life again. Now we can kind of see which parts of trees are dead, so then we know when it's trimming time, which bits to trim off, yeah. which is cool. So yeah, it's looking all right, and it's quick. Like we were here two weeks ago, and it was still bright green spring color, and now I think because it's more, it's got like a bit of barley base in it, hay type crop and grass. But look at the grass we put down the other day. That's like bright green. Yeah, well that's like. That's a, obviously seeds. a grass seed, isn't it? Whereas, like, if you look over there at that literal yeah. crop there, yeah. that's actually brown. What are you yours? What are you saying? Me, me, me. me. No. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so really, all we're trying to do over the summer is keep progressing and making things better for the next season. And um, with our tractor breaking down at the end of last season, there's not going to be too much getting done this summer that Catherine costs Andy. us a lot of money. So we've got one big surprise that we have been on a waiting list for for about six months, six, seven months. We've been on the waiting list for this. And um, it's just one thing that's going to make, it's just one thing that's going to make uh, a better experience for people that come and also for us being here so much. Yeah. Right, I think Indy, I think Indy's excited to just to show us, show you guys what what we've got and what we've been waiting for for so long because we saw that it was available in Europe so I literally put our name down for it and um, you pay like a deposit and then you just sit on the waiting list and I think it's because they have to um, build ground stations close to where you're going to be using it um, and I think that was what we were waiting for I think just from my understanding I haven't looked online so this is what we've got to make CDG better place for everyone. Ah. Oh. 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 It's like one of the best packages to receive. You I like was that, like, oh, it's so spacey. Yeah, Shao doesn't quite understand how it works. I say it's satellite satellite internet that's going to give her high speed like in the apartment. And so she's like, oh yeah, satellite internet. And I'm like, right, we need to get the Jenny fired up to give it some power. She goes, why does it need power when it runs off satellite? So that was quite a funny little statement from you. Oh yeah, I obviously thought it just sat... We just got internet, but it didn't need plugging in. I still don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we have got the new Starlink. Well, it's not the new one, because I've been looking online and there's already a new one out, but this is the one they're offering in Europe. So this is how it comes. These are the instructions. Really, really struggle to get the instructions, how to figure it out. I think this means phone, download app, Set it up, point it at the sky, plug it in. Wi-Fi. Got Wi-Fi. So let's have a look at what we've got. Oh my. Oh my. Oh dun, dun, dun. my goodness. Wow, and what do you reckon? No. So we got the dish. What's this guy? Me. Me, the me, space me. age router. That's quite cool. You like that end? And it does look so futuristic, doesn't it? Yeah. I love it, but it kind of this all this future it. stuff does freak me out a bit. I'm gonna I hold this. Love it. And then that's the power supply. I love it. And it's just got a white white lead and a grey lead. <laughs> I love it. White lead. I do love grey lead. It. So they're all quite simple. But it's good because at the moment the way we've got it running, we've got a little 4G dongle that we just pay, I think we pay what, 50, euros. 50 euros a month just to have 4G. But the only spot, there's literally, there's no signal anywhere on this land. It's yeah. getting better each year, so you can pick it up randomly, but there's a guaranteed spot, it's just over there. 
So we've got the 4G dongle just sat in one spot and it gives us enough internet for us to maybe, you know, do a bit of Instagram scrolling slowly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but other than it's that, not really like page. Like you can't really load web pages that much. No, it's it's very basic. And then so when what the thing, the main reason for us is Shao's obviously needs to be working at some point during the weekend. Like she's obviously busy, and then when she gets here at the weekend, it gives her a bit of a break because I can have India a little bit and stuff. Yeah, and sometimes I need to do like client calls, which means I need Zoom, and then yeah. yeah, it's just it's just a lot more reliable because then I don't have to worry about definitely always coming here on the land on the weekend because sometimes I do have to do work and stuff. Yeah, depending on how it all plans out. But also like when we book on people's insurances and stuff, um, we need the internet, and obviously if there's an emergency, we need like really good internet and we, we need to like rely on it for safety as well so it's super important yeah now some people have even asked and said about like camping and i have to say look you can camp but there's no services here like i've got two poor loos no phone signal and it's very dark and they're like oh yeah i need to do work or some people say oh can i get on your wi-fi and i'm like you can't really because it literally handles one phone yeah so this is going to make our life a bit easier i think i'm gonna have a little a little co-working space oh, at CDGMX retreat on the benches. <laughs> right, so let's see if Shao can set it up. So that's the base for the dish. And then get oh. the shower. What are you doing? Where are you taking it up? We're going to take it out, aren't we, Indy? Take it up, then there. Take it off, and then there. Oh, so you do it. So there's the dish. So then we've got power supply. Let's get the power supply out. It's nice, perfect. isn't it? Perfect, perfect, right. perfect. perfect. Where does the white Where does the white wire go, Sha? This one. Um, wow, you did it! <laughs> and then what colour do you need next? Indy, what colour? Grey. Grey. Grey one. Grey one next. One. Super easy. Where does that white one go to? The white router! Yeah, so I mean it's... No, other one. <laughs> How do you know that then? Someone says auxiliary. It's not clicking. It's not clicking! And then we've just got to more. plug it in. So let's fire up the generator and see how we get on. So when you go online to order the Starlink, they tell you to download the app and then you get this screen where they ask you to check for visibility for the um, for where, the, where you want the dish to go. So for us, it's not really a problem because we can put it anywhere. But um, So you go, yeah, you go on this app and you just check for obstructions, click that. It tells you, yeah, find a good location, scan the sky and stand still. Then you get this screen. So you point it up. And you have to come pop come all, these, pop come all these little bubbles. And then it'll tell you if you've got a good spot or not. So it might take a few minutes. I'll just edit this out. Okay, now you can see, look, that I've got... Um, what does it say? This is a great place for your Starlink, so we know we're good to go. So, that knows where we can put it. So we can go from there and let's set it up. Daddy! Yeah? Me, Right, look. <laughs> okay, so this is where we've got the dish. Just put on top of the caravan. So that's where she's going to sit for now. Obviously, while well, we're temporarily living like gypsies, but yeah, that's where she's going to be, facing up to the sky and bringing us all the speeds that we need. So let's uh, fire the old Jenny up and see what it does. Yeah. So we're running off the Jenny now, but by the time the season comes around, we'll have a little solar setup that's just enough to um, power the dish and the power supply. I've had a look online; I think it's like a hundred watts it uses. So. Um, yeah, not, not too big of a gen, uh, solar system that we need to power it, so that'll be right. 
Right. Yeah, and then that's our first step at that's our first the first phase of solar. Yeah, the first little solar path, solar setup. <laughs> All right, let's watch, watch the dish and see what it does. So I've connected to the, uh, to the Wi-Fi and see what the screen's doing. Offline, no signal received, searching. This is just facing straight up at the moment. Maybe that's where the satellite is. No signal received. Still searching. Doesn't seem to be searching much though, because buddy, the dish ain't moving. Oh, that sounds. That's why I changed the name of it. Well, let's let it leave it for a minute and see if the dish moves, shall we? I missed it, but she's moved. She's led down like a bit like that. And now, if I get my phone out. We should hopefully just say online. Let's go to the old Starlink app. Yeah, online. Okay, so let's try a little speed test, shall we? There we go. iPhone to internet. 155. With an upload, 13, 14. Fourteen megabits, sixteen, and then router to internet. What's, what's this mean? I mean, those speeds are like pretty decent for being in the middle of the mountains, not even having phone signal. I'd say one sixty-one, and then thirty-one upload. Lovely job. Yeah. Are you just doing a voiceover? Yeah. Oh. Thanks for interrupting it. Um, Who are you speaking to? Who is it? Who? 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 I didn't know because you were facing Well, you thought I was just like, oh shit, thanks, Shell. Oh, I didn't realise. <laughs> Jesus, what have we got going on now? For an iPhone to router. Gee, I don't know what's going on here. Dada. Yeah? Wow! I don't know what any of these speeds mean to be honest. iPhone to router, I don't know why that would be relevant. Maybe you guys will, I don't. But I'll just show, let you see it all anyway. I think that's the end. Yeah, that's the third one. So iPhone to internet, router to internet, iPhone to router. There you go, beast. Right, let's open up Instagram and see how fast we can get a reel to open. So they're loading pretty well. Who should we go for? Who do we want to see? Look at this, just scrolling and it's lovely. Should we see the bullet? Here we go. Hey, let's go to So yeah, before that would have just that would have taken us a long time to get anything to load on here. And it's like literally a normal experience. <laughs> Lovely job. <laughs> it's 
so we're pretty stoked on that aren't we really it's gonna help so us a lot happy. yeah like for me it's like posting content that's like relevant because sometimes i'm stuck up here for two weeks yeah so like if i have to wait until i go back to the apartment to be able to upload reels or even just information on the chat being open or closed it does it makes life so hard mm. like sometimes i've had to drive to the top of the town just to get some 4g to be able to post stuff so for me that helps and then you next you've got the people that are clients the people that come and visit like they want to be able to have internet if they want to. Some people have said, oh, it's quite nice not having any signal here. We don't have to deal with our businesses and stuff, which is kind of the, kind of the vision we're going for, but we don't want to seclude people where they have to work. Yeah, it's nice for people to have a choice. Yeah, they can have a choice. So yeah. what I'm thinking we're going to do, because um, obviously it's costing us a lot more than what we actually want to. Yeah. So we'll probably just put a fee on for like the password for the day. So like if someone, yeah. if, the, if they want to use internet, we'll just go say, yeah, five euros you can have if you're coming a week you can have it for the week and maybe we'll change the password once a week and they can go on for five euros which will make it good because that'll help offset some of the cost of actually having it um i think it was it was 500 euros for like the hardware to buy it and then we pay 110 euros a month so like for the internet it's quite a lot when normally people are paying 30 odd yeah so, so. it is it's good because then it, it does give people the choice rather than everyone just coming and everyone logging on, which people just do because they can, for the sake right? Of it, yeah. People just do it for the sake of it. Whereas, you know, we, we do want people to come here and feel like they are away from everything else and they can relax and like spend time in nature. But yeah, obviously some people need it. So yeah, that's the option for that too. So that's why we're going to put... Yeah, if it was free, everyone would just join it and then just scroll exactly. all day anyway. Yeah, exactly. And that's not the point of being here, so... Yeah. And then for you, it means that it doesn't have to feel like she, when she gets here, she can't do any work herself if she needs to. So that's a bonus too. Yep. Yep. So yeah, when you come, just ask us if you want the password and hand over your dollar and we'll give it to you. Yeah. So yeah, Very enjoy good. that one. Yeah. If anyone has any questions, let us know. We'll um, see how we get on with it over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, we'll see how we get on with everyone. Log with... Yeah. The people logged on through Six, the winter. 60 people logged on a day. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> but they're supposed to be good because the latency is really low. Um, so it's, it should be really good. Yeah. I think I'll probably get a few access points dotted around the car parks mm. and see if that makes the signal any better. Right. See you later. Enjoy. Bye.